Yazali wa bulunji, ya fluma bulunji nga no mtuwe gumuto nae wagati wanunga watengeta, wanu wagati wanu wali wali. That is what 28-year-old Nailomi Fazila attributes to be the cause of her daughter's continuous swelling of the head. The condition, according to Dr. Oscar Obiga, is genetic and could also result from poor feeding, especially during pregnancy. It's also caused by some nutritional deficiencies at the time you conceive. So it's usually by the time by the time you discover you, the problem is there, it's usually too late. You can you cannot you, like most people find out they're pregnant when it has already happened. So the fluid accumulation is caused by several things. One of them is uh, one of them is overproduction of, uh, of, of fluid. Um, this fluid is supposed to actually nourish the brain. Um, another, another, another cause is um, reduced absorption of the fluid. Um, and another cause is obstruction of the normal flow of the fluid within the different uh, cavities of the brain. Dr. Obiga, a neurosurgeon at Mulago Hospital, says hydrocephalus can also be caused by congenital or acquired factors. Congenital causes include spina bifida, an old Chiari malformation, crinosnotosis, Dandy Walker syndrome, and vein of Galen, mafelas. He says the obstruction of cerebrospinal fluid flow causes a swelling of the head. Nailomi Fazila says she was insulted by some people blaming her for adultery, whereas others told her to perform a number of rituals. <laughs> She was later advised by her neighbor to seek medical attention. Dr. Obiga says those are some of the early warning signs. First thing you will see is notice is the child is vomiting a lot, the child is, um, the child is uh, having a lot of headache. Fazila sought medical attention, but the costs were beyond her reach. Dr. Obiga says this condition is only treated with surgery and in Uganda it is done free of charge at any of the centers that handle the cases. We use a shunt, it's a silastic tube, it's like made out of silicone or and rubber passes underneath the skin. You put a tube in the cavity in the brain and you bypass that cavity and go down through the skin to the abdominal cavity. He says during the surgery, the accumulated fluid is redirected to other cavities in the body, including the heart, gallbladder, lung, and stomach cavities. The other cavities have complications, so we usually like to do the abdominal cavity. According to Dr. Obiga, there is no prevalence study that has been conducted on hydrocephalus, but he estimates that Mulago receives up to 100 babies per year. Hydrocephalus has adverse effects on a child's growth, including loss of coordination and trouble walking, slow growth, loss of bladder control or urinary incontinence, changes in facial appearance and eye spacing, and it also affects self-esteem. The month of September was designated as the Hydrocephalus Awareness Month, in July 2009 by the U.S. Congress. This was meant to create awareness of the disease. Walter Mwesije, NTV.